Hey YouTube, it's Double One Eight Seth Shadow here. This is going to be my second card review for my channel, and this time it's going to feature Number Sixteen Shockmaster, the first of the Virtual Shonen Jump promos. Originally, it was known as Shock Ruler, for those of you who knew it by that name. Anyway, its stats: it's a Light Attribute Rank Four, Exceed Monster. It's a Fairy. Three level fours are required. It's got 2300 attack, 1600 defense. And there's the number right there. These are from the new ver jumps series when it went virtual into Shonen Jump Alpha. So only subscribers who subscribe to Shonen Jump can now start getting these promos. You can no longer actually pick them up in the store. Anyway, its effect. Once a turn, detach and exceed material. Declare it card type. That card type cannot be activated, or if it's a monster, monsters cannot activate their effects until the end of your opponent's next turn. Keep in mind this applies to both players when you use this effect. Going over a few rulings. With the monsters, you negate effects, but monsters can still be summoned and set. Then for spells and traps, it will prevent activation of a lot of them, but if there are already continuous ones on the field, like Royal Decree or even, Ro let's just say Royal Oppression even though it's banned. They can still activate those effects under Shock Ruler because they're already out on the field and active. So just some exceptions and <clears throat> things to mention in that get under the effect. So, Shock Ruler doesn't have that much of varying strategies to go with it, but the big thing is being able to summon it. The effect is pretty straightforward. You want to negate a spell, trap, or monster. So, but how are you going to summon it? It requires three material instead of two, like Utopia or such. Well, here's the biggest example. Gadgets. And Ultimate Offering. Ultimate Offering, if you don't know, you pay 500 life points to perform an extra normal summon or set. Or maybe it's just normal. Well, the normal summon is what counts here. You summon Green Gadget, get Red to your hand via effect, use Ultimate Offering, summon Red Gadget, get Yellow via its effect, then summon Yellow Gadget, get another Green, overlay all three because they're all four. Now you got a Shock Ruler. If you want to be really ambitious, Ultimate again, get Red, get Yellow, into another Shock Ruler. Now you can detach from both of them. You and your opponent cannot activate two types of cards until the ends of your opponent's next turn. Typically I'd want to pick Spell and Monster. If you do that, make sure you actually pick Spell first, because if you pick Monster, you can't activate the effect of the other Shock Ruler. But that's pretty much the gadget way of summoning it. Let me go over one more way. For those of you who don't want to play gadgets, maybe just play something else. Requires these two cards in Grave. This could even be on the field, but for purposes. Then you have Scrap Chimera. Chimera lets you summon Beast from the graveyard. Then you have Chain Dog. Chain Dog has the ability to be special summoned when there are two Beast types on the field. Then you just overlay the three for Shock Ruler. And Chain Beast, or Chain Dog, it would normally go to the Remove from Play Zone, the Banish Zone, after being taken off the field, but Overlay Units are not on the field, they're just hidden underneath the Exceed. So you can just attach it to the Grave for later use, too. And that's about a wrap for this one. Thanks guys, enjoy!